So, the stream is running, the countdown is going. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for an awesome gameplay session here today uh, with a topic, how to deal maximum damage in War of Arts these days in the current meta. All right. <clears throat> so, getting myself ready here. What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the next live stream here in Warobots with uh, basically the question and the answer to how we can do maximum damage again in Warobots. Because the meta has shifted so much away from just continuously and freely dealing damage with the pop up shields and all those things uh, that now basically represent an obstacle from dealing damage to, um, yeah, to dealing damage. And the question is, uh, how do you do it? The answer would be the shield breaker. And I also want to say greetings here to my fellow YouTube. YouTuber friend Agir, who has also told me about uh, running Shieldbreaker more often these days, uh, especially trying to run it with the uh, you know pilot skill that makes it lo last longer here. The modules expert skill. I have not combined these two things yet, um, so thanks for letting me know, Agir. And I'm trying this here now in this live stream. We're basically running Shieldbreaker with the increased duration on it, which should allow us to get for about almost eight seconds or so um, in uh, in flight uh, to use the lasers and to be able to bypass shields. Um, also, we have Devastators with high resistance on the Flying Seraph, should be, should be good, I think. And the Sniper version with DK. Let's go right into the battle and test it, ladies and gents, okay? So, let's get going. And of course, um, how, you know, the, the, the problem of always, I always want to be dealing a lot of damage to my enemies uh, when I play. And uh, usually I've been running around with a... Uh, on repair or use damage boosts or um, or having resistance with repair. Now we don't have repair, so we have to sacrifice something here for it, and uh, and that is survivability. We will not survive as long, but we should be able to deal good damage uh, with this shield breaker here. As you see, boom, boom, boom. We're breaking the shield right now. Although I guess this guy does not have a shield, but we're breaking it. I if he had it, we would have broken it through the entire duration here. And that's the cool thing about it. So, uh, these guys actually did not have uh, a shield. <laughs> or at least the one guy I was focusing on, which it rarely happens. But in this case, it did happen. See, this guy has one. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And then the shield will come back up. So, let's start to fly. Shield breaker and maximum damage here. We're hitting all three guys in front of us. And if they do open shields, we will bypass them all at the same time. Which is just insane. Airstrike right on there. And uh, pop up. So two of them died. And the third one is almost down right now. He's getting caught in the explosion. He's super slow from the slowing fields. And a lot of weapons are hitting him. And boom, boom. Yep. So see, the shield will come back up any second now. But I'm activating shield breaker. Pop up, pop up, pop up. And then we're starting to fly. With the increased duration on the shield breaker, it actually lasts long enough to deal a ton of damage to the enemy. So this guy is now getting the shield and I'm not having my shield breaker anymore. What? This guy just got one hit killed. Did you see the hawk getting hit in, in two, like in one hit? Basically, that was crazy. Okay, that was my shield breaker, unfortunately. Um, oh, never mind. It lasted long enough for me to kill the entire enemy right there. Bop up, bop up, and oh, ooh, he's coming in fast. Let's start to fly here. And the shield breaker is running. He's underneath us. And boop, boop, there we go. Gotten the kill because the shield breaker allowed us to do this. Airstrike on both of these guys in front of us. And boom, boom, boom. Nice, good damage. So, as you see here, we, we may be easier kills for the enemies because we can't heal and activate extra resistance, but uh, we can dish out more damage, and that's the good thing about it. Starting to fly again, and I don't need to run Shield Breaker now. Here we go. Shield Breaker, bop, 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 bop. Whoa, this guy seems to have still been flying. Wow. Dude, these DKs are crazy, man. <laughs> they do so much damage. It's unbelievable. And I'm still, I still even have my last end, which is quite funny. I thought I would be getting killed much fa faster than this. Apparently not. 
Boom, boom, boom. Now our last stat will go away. But that's okay. That's why we have it. And starting to fly. Shield break on. Bam, 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 bam. And there we go. I guess I will be getting killed now. Yep. But that gives us the opportunity to jump into the real deal damage dealer. Uh, also, we're running... Uh, this was also a tip from Aegir. We're running uh, the paralysis drone, drone, which will allow us to... Um, Oh man, that's a lot of enemies here. Here, shield breaker running. Look how fast we can kill this guy. Um, with a paralysis drone, you can lock people down on top. And that's pretty good news. So he's down to last stand. He's coming in for a landing. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I guess he, that, that landing was not going to happen anymore. We're losing on beacons though. So, let's get that, um, that uh, shield breaker regenerated. And uh, no, actually our ability. I want to get my ability regenerated. So I can start breaking through the, um, through this guy. Boom, boom. See here, shield breaking him. His shield does not work. I'm targeting malfunction. Wonderful. Through my entire ability, that targeting malfunction lasted. Boop. And there we go. Nice. Landed here in safety. Very nice. Getting back in cover. Yikes. Okay, thank you <laughs> for letting me stay alive here for a bit. Plenty of enemies with um, with blinding weapons. And now they're taking this. It's insane, man. The enemy is so crazy. Every time I go in one direction, they capture the other side. Look how slow I am. <laughs> this is going fast as fast full speed. Unbelievable. That was full speed. Uh, because um, I got apparently caught in some uh, slowing field from the thing. Ah, he's gonna get another ability now. Uh, I was also getting my ability, but I uh, couldn't get it quite in time. Alright, so back into a Titan here for us. I thought I put the quantum sensor on it. Must have forgotten. Okay. Targeting malfunction for him. Third shield! Four shields. Four yellow shields he had now. I've counted. I've depleted four yellow shields. On the guy. Okay. Um, he's out of range. Yeah, looks like I don't have my quantum sensors equipped. I thought I had them. All right, anyways, that was an... Let's, let's take this as an intro to the live stream. Basically showing you what we mean. We have the paralysis drone for lockdown uh, maneuvers. So we can lock them down. Look how much damage we've done with these two robots. Five mil... More than five million. We've carried so hard, but the enemy team was just like... 10 people or 15 um, but uh, it's still we uh, we carry quite hard and we did a lot of damage most of the damage in fact and the reason being also uh, the Paral paralysis drone is equipped with the on damage dealt damage module that means you don't have to wait for your active module to get damage back every time you simply deal damage and by dealing damage you trigger these two modules every few seconds uh, and you'll deal 60 70 percent more damage also another a little idea i had i did not equip suppressor i actually equipped freezing module because that will make it so that once the enemy triggered the freezing effect uh, we take we do 20 percent more damage against him too you know so instead of suppressor i went for freezing for even added damage and uh, and so you can ramp the damage up alone with these drone modules here by about 100 percent then we have sir uh, um, the uh, nuclear amplifier which of course does 72 percent or 75 or so more damage uh, when it's fully maxed we could run two of them if we wanted to then we have it faster and then of course we have pilot skills themselves so we reach around I don't know, maybe 300% more damage output or 270 or whatever. Uh, and this uh, with um, with weapons that already deal a lot of damage. And now being able to bypass energy shields uh, at the same time. That's kind of the trick here or the idea behind uh, not running a sort of advanced repair unit anymore. But in fact just running um, these, um, these modules with on damage dealt damage and uh, the uh, shield breaker. So, let's see what we can do this time. 
I also have a couple of donations rolling in. Uh, donos, I I'll be paying attention to them in just a moment. Since this is a nice sniper map, I want to first go and uh, see what we can do here. This guy wants in this 500 meter range. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Starting to fly here. Okay. And then activating shield breaker. Look at this. Look what I'm doing to this Capri with the shield breaker running. Boom, boom, boom. And the shield breaker lasts so long I could kill the entire Capri robot right there. Um, and I was also lasering at the other guy as well. Boom, boom. Uh, come on, let's get him at least to last stand. Apparently my shots didn't hit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to heal up. Apparently that didn't work because I don't have the healing module. I forgot. <laughs> Whoops. And I'm down to 102,000 HP, which is really little, very little HP. Um, a Skyros comes rolling in. He's just going to capture our beacon, but I'm going to fly and try and do as much as I can. When he triggers the shield, I can still react and activate Shield Breaker later. Uh, but uh, yeah, you see it takes quite a while to get this Skyros ball destroyed. That's just how it is with the Skyros. It just rolls to the beacon and takes it. And what can you do about it? That's right, absolutely nothing. That's War Robots now. Um, oh, I just realized... Shield breaking him, and I did a lot of damage to the dude. Activating... Still shield breaking him, still shield breaking for a couple of seconds. Then sh uh, running um, airstrike on him. But it's a Skyros, it's really fast. But he thankfully walked back into the... <laughs> uh, into the thing. And uh, now I'm gonna be dead. Uh, that's one Skyros. A single Skyros who just single-handedly uh, took us down as, as easiest thing in the world. So I'm waiting for his shield breaker. There it is. Now we're activating resistance. We're bra breaking through his shield and that's the moment he dies. You can tell that this guy had uh, extra resistance uh, because even every time, even though he uh, ran um, perfectly... Wow. Perfect level play. Did you see him? Uh, using... Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, dude. That was not perfect. Uh, but he waited out my ability. What I was gonna say is he waited for the entire ability duration uh, to end. So air striking him, he's gonna fly as a result. Is he? Yep. It worked. He started flying because I shield broke him. Uh, because I, I activated the, the air strike on him. And now I can go and attack him. But the problem is I have... Uh, oh, wait a minute. I have weapons with only 200 meters range, so I kind of have to uh, land here in safety for the moment. I'm leaving a couple of shots in my magazine, so that in, if, in case he wants to uh, drop in. I'm slowed from the slowing field. Uh, he's rolling through. Okay, we still have most of the beacons, which is pretty good. I want to attack a titan too, but I'm not sure if I can do it. With our weapons, we only have 200 meters range, so I can't really go and attack him directly. Except now. Now I can go and attack him, and with Shield Breaker, see that? I can just go right through his shields and boop, drop him. So, he's gonna start to fly any second now. Trying to land in cover. Worked, at least temporarily. Wait a minute. Oh! <laughs> it's a Typhon robot now. Okay. I wish I could delete that Titan robot at uh, that Typhon robot here with this and the shield breaker on top. Oh, and I'm targeting malfunction, so I can't fire at all now. My ability is running and I can't fire. Okay, now we're shield breaking. Boom, nice. Airstrike on these two guys. Also hitting that uh, that uh, Murumets incredibly well. Very nice. I'm also getting Kepri boosted from Joylix. Nice, Joylix, thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Um, remember, there will be a new drone coming into the game. That's job. What's job it is? Oh, here, shield breaking him. Look at this. Oh my goodness, dude. He goes down instantly. Uh, and that new drone will make it so that you don't lose uh, your. Um, uh, yeah, you don't get blinded anymore. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Uh, you will not get blinded anymore in the future. Yeah, okay, there's not really much I can do. Uh, the blinding effect will get removed by the drone. By the drone uh, chip, or by, by, yeah, by the drone itself. So let's run our Titan. I don't know how we suddenly have no beacons anymore. We have only a single beacon. 
That's pretty bad. Okay, I'm trying to hit the Ravana with a blackout here. He is hit now. So once that shield goes, we can delete him. Nice. There comes a, a Titan. Here's an enemy Titan over there. I, I airstrike him. He's taking down very quickly. Nice. So blinding him. Okay, he triggers that thing. We still only have one beacon. That's a problem. Blinding him. Okay, Hawk is on me. I can fly in stealth now. Okay, whatever this is. I got killed. Yeah, we see apparently apparently we only needed to lose our beacons once and then the enemy team was able to completely uh, lock us from any other beacon anymore. Not even our base beacon we were able to get back. Yeah, that's it. Match is over. We controlled the entire match in the first couple of seconds. And then something happened and uh, and that was basically it. Airstrike on the Nodens. Can't capture the beacon, someone is on it. Yeah, I mean, I can't do everything. <laughs> everything here, uh, capturing beacons and everything. But what we can do is fight this, uh, this guy with his mender, at least for a second. All right, so let's take a look at the donations that we have missed. Um, we have uh, Slash Gaming Warabots with $2. Thank you, Slash Gaming. We have Varun RV. Hi, Manny. How are, have a wonderful live stream. Thank you, sir. And we have uh, Trevor Devi Davis with a dollar. Thanks, man. And we have a Stunt 104. Hey, Manny. Love your vid uh, vi videos. Look at my hanger. Uh, I, I won't. I won't be doing a, a, a Q and A today. I will have a bit of a shorter stream. Um, so uh, yeah, no hanger feedback this time. But uh, thanks for the contributions, man. F much appreciated, dude. Uh, so 5.65 million damage here. Again, highest damage in the match, and we have basically been s mostly sniping and using devastators. And uh, Canyon is not exactly the best map for devastators. We need um, longer range maps, uh, shorter range maps for them. So we're starting with the Devastators this time because um, this map is much better. Um, let's try and grab this beacon here to the right real quick. Oh, the Lix guy is in the other team now. The one who previously gave us a Kepri boost. He's now in the other team. All right, I'm gonna start to fly. I'm slowed. I don't know. I, 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 I remember myself having anti-control. I remember myself putting anti-control on this thing. Here, shield breaking the, the uh, these guys. And whatever it is, it's pretty much dead now. Yep, it was a Demeter. And I just shield broke the Demeter. But uh, yeah, they have four people in one location here. It's pretty crazy. Four people in one location. That's nuts. Okay, down to last stand with him. Finishing him off. Shield breaking him. Oh, he couldn't capture the beacon. This guy also got killed and then we are dead. Alright, that was a short, short-lived pleasure. Maybe we can go into our Skyros with the Armadillo drone and see what we can do later. Airstrike on him. Getting him back into the ball. If I don't protect this beacon, apparently no one else will, so I have to do, do it here. Um, I think we haven't won a single match, right? Yet. We have lost every single match so far. Let's see how this continues. Going for this beacon here, there's gonna be somebody who spawns on it. A Devastator out shown, I can dodge most of the shots, and... Oh, look! Boom, boom, boom. Okay, while I'm reloading, I just go back into the ball. And then I should be able to come out and finish him off. Boom, there we go. And then try to capture the beacon. It's already white, so that was good. We're getting increased resistance too from the Armadillo drone. That helps a lot. So, getting back into the ball. We have a Scorpion who might jump on us. Nah, not yet, not yet. He might be coming any second now though. Actually, wait, the scorpion just got killed, apparently. Yeah. 
Uh-oh, here comes two more attackers. Okay. I'm here preventing the cap of this beacon. Nice, I have backup. Very cool. And so we can come in and have some fun with a spider robot there. Airstrike on top for extra damage. Come on, guys. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Good. So they're go going down now. Um, I don't have this shield breaking set up here on the Skyros, by the way. I only have it on the two Sa uh, Seraph robots. Uh, okay, back into the ball. Looks like we're finally going to win a match now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. That was quick. I got absolutely deleted there in just a split second. So let's hit this guy. I can uh, sh um, black out most of the enemies over there. Dude, the kid is pretty tanky. Airstrike on this champ. Starting to fly up. He might be getting slowed and hit by the airstrike and... Oh, that's poor... Uh, uh, that was him. Joy licks right there. Uh, oh, he had a phase shift. Okay. Good idea. Phase shift also helps you against the um, blinding effect. Uh, but uh, keep in mind, the new Titan Indra will have three phase shifts built in. Huh? You can walk up here? Did you see that? Wait a minute. Let me try and redo this again. Didn't think that was... Yo, you can walk up there. That's new. Okay. I want to land up here. Aha! Enemy who is in vulnerable position. Very nice. Then uh, we have uh, Joy Lix over there. He's grab uh, grabbing our beacon. He's bathing on my airstrike, but he's also taking the be beacon, so... <laughs> uh, okay, someone is airstriking. Did you see that 80% heal? Or 70%? He was literally at 1% health. One second later, 70% health. I can only shake my head at this point, because this is just ridiculous. But, uh, yeah. Uh, alright. Is he gonna respawn? The only place he could respawn would be this way. They're, they're in front of us. Um, ba -ba -ba. Go sideways and get higher in the dome. You can, wait, you can get higher by walking sideways in the dome? Really? Alright, so this is something I'll try next time. You mean like walking towards or above one of those doors or the, where you, ent where you uh, enter with a normal robot? Hey Manny, how are you all doing? Ervin Warabots. Hey dude, I'm fi doing fine. Hopefully you are too. Uh, hey guys, what's up? Manny, uh, Anuman, uh, Anu Pam Prime Warabots. Hey man. Also, it's so cool. So many names in the stream chat that are familiar to me at this point. We've been streaming and doing video content for so many years now that many of these names, I actually recognize you guys. Um, I don't know exactly from where, but your names always ring a bell for me. Uh, we have Slash Gaming Warabots with a $20 super chat. One of my favorite YouTubers, he said. Thank you, Slash Warabots, Slash Gaming Warabots. So, that's so much appreciated, man. Thank you so much. That is awesome. Also, thank you for the kind, uh, kind message there. Uh, glad to hear it. Um, by the way, we did two two caps, ten kills, four point three million damage. Um, we did put up pretty good fight against the four people in the beginning uh, with our um, Seraph. However, keep in mind, our survivability is much smaller now or less than it was before with the shield, with the healing and the resistance through healing with the modules and stuff. Right now, we, we're basically dedicated to being a damage dealer. We have these almost 300% damage boosts when everything is ticking and running and maximized. Um, but if we really get focused out after our flight, um, we can die very quickly and that is it. Here, one of the most powerful robots in the game still, the Ravana. I love this thing, man. So, what do we have here? Hopefully not a Skyros. Oh, it's a... okay. It's a Capri. I'm gonna start to fly now, and I'm- Oh no, I activated Shield Breaker and he's got Cloaking. That's a problem. Yeah, see, now my Shield Breaker is over. Oh, man, he's getting absolutely dem demolished. 
Uh, that's it, but you know what? He turns around, gives me two or three shots, and that's it. I'm pretty much done now. He goes 100% me for the moment. Okay. Okay. Let's give it everything we've got against the Capri here. Uh, no, not the Capri. What's it called? Um, Daymater. Okay. Airstrike on me, apparently. Apparently that airstrike was necessary. Okay, good. Good job, guys. <laughs> that airstrike was so unnecessary. You would have killed me t exactly at the same time without an airstrike. So now, now I get cop got Capri boosted. And I should probably say at this point that uh, I was being a little stupid recently when I asked you guys, oh, how can I get where can I get the speed boost? So many of you were telling me, Manny, are you an idiot? You got Capri boosted. Did you not see it? Um, you're right. I, I was an idiot because I didn't see that I was getting Capri boosted. However, one thing I do want to point out too is that um, there is actually a bug in the game. There is a bug where you can, um, where the Skyros sometimes gets a, a, a really weird speed boost. It happened to me in Free For All too, and there is no way this can happen in Free For All. Right? So, air striking him. He's trying to get out of the airstrike range. I still have my last stand, which is good, and he's still sitting in the airstrike. Now this other champ has just released my last stand. Thank you, Exile Guy, whoever you are, and why ever you play this well together with a random other dude you're not have anything in common with, apparently. But he was absolutely duoing me right there. That was unhealthy for me. Um, okay. Getting back in cover here. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Nice. And uh, maybe they are actually in a squad. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe they are in a squad. Could be. Um, let's go for him. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Okay. He's going to walk back and cover. I am getting another airstrike here. I'm going for the Demeter. I got blinded. Oh, man. It's so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. All right. So let's go into this Titan. I don't know, man. This enemy team seems like full... Full face brawling platoon uh, pre mates. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but it feels like there's so much pre made stuff in there. So dropping him, air striking this guy. He jumped and he just lost his reflector, so he gets perfectly hit by my uh, my my bomb now. Took a lot of damage. Look, he's still taking. He got like 30 or 40 percent damage from my air strike. That's a lot of damage. Dude, they're, they're making damage as if they were titans. These guys over there, they're dealing damage as if they were titans. Seriously. Okay. And we're dead now. Can't break through these shields. These guys have, like, unlimited shield durations. Uh, shields there. These yellow shields they keep stacking from the Northlight battleship. Can't break through them. Okay. That's a nice titan. All right. Three matches played. No, four matches played. And I think only one of them I actually managed to win. Uh, es, uh, Escanor LOL. Uh, with a 4.5 MYR uh, currency. Uh, thank you, sir. Um, also, we have Boeing 787 with 200 uh, Mexican dollars. No, wait, 20 Mexican dollars. Love your videos, Manny. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it, dude. I love that you love the videos. <laughs> and I was right. I was right. I saw this guy with a different clan talk than the other. The other guy was from Exile. And I knew they were playing together. I felt the co-op. I felt it. I played this game for so many years now. I know when someone is co-op playing. I know when there's a random team up. And I know when there is a, a co-op team up. A pre-made team up. It feels different. I know it every almost every time. And this was one of the situ- I told you. I told you, these guys, I think they're teaming up. I think they're pre-mates. I told you. I called it, and I was right. Even though they had different clan tags, I knew. So, I'm gonna start to fly now, and I'm gonna take aim on the Kepri. Shield breaking him if he has a shield. Yep, there it is. There is the shield. And you see, I'm doing a ridiculous- I even killed- <laughs> What the heck? I even killed the other guy. 
uh, with the ability that we have. He's super mad at me now because I uh, broken through his uh, defenses there. And one more shot and that's it. Of course he gets a stupid shoot one more time. Then I'm suppressed, but we got it. All right, nice. Now here comes their, um, okay, shoot breaker active and bam, 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 bam. Look, one guy but dead, airstrike on them. Still shield breaking, still shield breaking. This is how you deal damage now in War Robots. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the new damage, damage dealing meta. Uh, if you want to deal damage, this is how you do it now. You make sure to uh, shield break the enemy. Because without shield breaker, you really don't do damage anymore. Okay. Let's go up. I have regenerated some firepower, I'm waiting his lag and then I'm activating the shield breaker. In this case, apparently he does not have a shield. But uh, we still have it running. This guy. I was flying forward and I could not get in 200 meters range. Okay, there we go. He's pretty content with me here. Still on me. He's got someone right behind him. Uh, he's going down. Yep, there goes my last stand. You know, someone literally just wasted an entire airstrike for my last stand. Just to release my last stand, somebody literally just used an airstrike. I just killed almost this entire enemy with one airstrike. And someone else just wasted a last stand for it. Uh, wasted uh, an airstrike just for my last stand. He's gonna respawn in front of me. I dropped him to last stand immediately in one hit, or two hits, and then he gets me, I guess. Yeah, a third stealth now. Third stealth seals the deal. I was able to survive the first, I was able to survive the second, but I was not available, as, as su able to survive a third one uh, of, these, um, of these stealths. That's just too much stealth then at this point. Just too much. I've got three guys on me, unreal. So I'm just taking them down one by one now. Or I'm trying to. I'm in his shield. It's lagging so much, man. He's getting healed now. Starting to fly. He's back, I'm, I'm slow. <laughs> okay. I was doing the airstrike and I'm slow. Yeah, dang it, he managed to get back in cover. Uh, this guy's back at full health, air striking him. I blacked out his ability. There we go, nice. That was an instant counter. I blacked him out so he couldn't use his ability there. Uh, and he could also, no last stand or no, 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 no face shifter, so he could have used. Um, that was a pretty well, pretty nice counter. He's gonna land now after I'm blinding him. Actually, he's not. Well, he's one meter out of range. Are you kidding me, dude? There we go. Airstrike on him. He's gonna start to fly. Actually, he's not flying. Landing. Almost gotten the kill. I'm not sure if I got him blinded, but... Hmm. Is he gonna get this beacon? That would be so awesome. Come on, dude. Get the beacon. Get it. Get the beacon. No. He's losing the beacon. Uh, but it's two, it's two people now. We have two guys now on the beacon. Maybe we are gonna get it. We're losing our home beacon, though. So now they have it. I'm gonna reinforce the beacon here. These weapons, they they really are titan-breaking weapons, man. It's crazy. These uh, explo shotguns are so good against titans. It's like... Um, it's like you're a titan yourself. Let's go and get for this beacon after we have this here. Because we need a couple of beacons now. If we take a look at the bar, up bar on the top, it's a bit of a problem here. 
Oh, wow, he dies almost completely there. Uh, Revenant will be jumping on me any second now. He get uh, again he survives because of the the thing. I'm going to I'm going to face brawl him and then I go into my ball because now he's standing on the airstrike. And then come on. Boom 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 boom. Okay. We still have our beacon. He has not been able to capture it. And he's almost gone now. Titan on me, that's a problem. But, got it. Okay. Actually, it's not a Titan. Now it's a Titan. Uh-oh. Boom, 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 boom. Can we beat this guy? He's now using Reflector. I'm just using the ball so I can roll around faster and make him miss his shots. Wow, look how fast we drop this guy. That's a Titan and we defeat him. It's crazy. Back into the ball. And then we can suppress him. I think. Oh no, I didn't get my weapons um, reloaded. That's a problem. <laughs> I triggered uh, my weapon, my switch too early, and my weapons are not reloaded. Can I grab this beacon, maybe? Can I please move again? Thank you. Wow, sitting there for 10 seconds. Unreal. All right, we're getting this beacon now. They recaptured this one. Airstrike kill for him. Nope. Nope, he's got that reflector ready. Why am I slow again? Why am I slow again? Some freezing, I think. Getting the beacon. Come on. Did this guy get killed now, or...? Grabbing all the beacons all the time. Just running after beacons all day long is what I'm doing here. So that's our beacon now. They're recapture to recapturing this beacon. At the same time, this is not our beak. Dude, what is going on, man? It's like, I feel like we're playing 2 versus 10 again. It's unreal. Can't keep up, man. I can't keep up. No matter how many beacons I cap, I can't keep up. Okay. Now we need... Now this beacon is under attack. Ah! Okay. That was a long freeze. Alright. Um, Sleepyhead Warabots with a five pound donation. Hey Manny, uh, I'm a small YouTuber for Warabots. Any suggestions for content or getting views? Uh, yeah. Uh, just keep doing donations to other big streamers with your name and mentioning that you are a YouTuber. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, um, just continu continuity. Stay with one topic and uh, stay with that topic and uh, do the best you can. Try to be good at it, be funny or I don't know. And stay with one thing and uh, and do a continuous. Uh, uh, yeah, continuity is really the key on YouTube, if you ask me. Uh, so many people want to become YouTubers or whatever, and they uh, they start and they notice that within the first I don't know one two years it's not working so well and they eventually stop because it, it can be frustrating you're putting a lot of work in it at first it doesn't really work very well and eventually maybe it works and maybe it doesn't but it, it's if you if you really, really st have to stick with it you have to stick with it and deliver no matter what the views are no matter what the numbers are you have to stick with it and deliver and then maybe it works um yeah that's at least that's what i tell everyone um that's the theory, in my opinion, or in my head. We did 8.4 million damage, 15 kills, 5 beacon caps. Uh, it was a good match, but again, 9 beacon caps. 9 beacon caps. This guy really wanted to win the fight. Um, yeah, so again, 6 battles, 1 of them we won. We've won a single fight today. Uh, YouTube algorithm you l loves consistency. Yep, that's that too. Um, bup, bup, bup. Hmm... Yeah, I'm, I'm starting with a sniper version this time. 
<laughs> I've, I think I've literally just wa only won a single fight with all with you guys, huh? Unbelievable. Um, so, whatever this yellow thing is, it might be a Typhon robot. I'm going for it with Shield Breaker. Bup up, bup up, bup up. Yeah, he has some kind of insane resistance. But uh, we're breaking through. And gotten him almost destroyed. He, I think he's got the legendary pilot, and that's why he's still in the game. Uh, he would have been killed now if it wasn't for that legendary pilot. Because it activates like a 90% resistance or some something like this for 5 seconds. The first time you get, um, get high damage. Uh, and that is the first time that he took damage right there. So, full damage output on him. Uh, with Shield Breaker, he's gonna get the shield now, but we're still gonna keep lasering at him and kill keep dealing damage because we have that Shield Breaker, and there he goes. Very nice. This guy's landing. I landed on the building here. Down to last end. That was quick. Two, one, and kill. Bam, bam. Nice. The Typhon robot is still in the game. Okay, Shield Breaker against the Hades. Actually, wait a minute, it's not a Hades. I thought it was a Hades. Airstrike on both of them. Trying to land on the building again. If I can make it happen. How many Transcendence modes has he just used? Unreal. He's got stealth, okay. Airstrike on me, apparently. That's unhealthy. He's gonna jump on me now. I'm ultra slow. I'm gonna. I want the uh, this guy. Uh, turns out he has uh, 15 overlapping shields. Did you see how many shields were overlapping on this guy? I dropped one shield, another shield came back up. I dropped another shield, another shield came back up. Oh boy. Unlimited overlapping shields. Here, shield breaker on him. Bam, 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 bam. Almost dropped him. There we go, nice. This guy's going down, very nice. We still are in the game, but they can spawn on us. Uh, but wait, is it domination? Maybe they can't spawn here. Nice, I get an Akepri boost and healing. Awesome. Dark man, thank you, sir. Um, maybe we can actually win a fight. Starting to fly, shield breaking him because he's got a shield. Boom. Lasering into the entire enemy base at the same time here. Getting blinded. And Capri boosted. Very nice. Good speed boost. I wonder, ladies and gentlemen, can you please tell me in the stream chat, is the bug still in the game where the... Uh, oh, I want that shield. Um, where the uh, the robot here gets boosted to... Oh, man. Darkman, you're so cool, man. Oh, man. I love this guy. Darkman, come on. Come, follow me. Yeah. Dude, this guy's awesome. He keeps us healed. Shield break. Okay. He's gonna heal up as heal us up again, I think. Any second now. Yep, there it is. Look, we're getting we're gaining health. <laughs> this guy is so awesome! <laughs> Dark and I love you, man. You're so cool. Okay, starting to fly. We're gonna get blinded now. So I didn't didn't use my shield breaker because uh, the blinding. Uh, oh, he's below. He's down below there. Now we're using shield breaker. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. And he even gives us shield and HP, man. Look at his support. Look at the level of support this guy's providing for us. It's so crazy. We now we're now we're battling and winning the fight against the Titan because we have so many overlapping shields from this guy. <laughs> this guy is such a support bomber. Airstrike on him. Flying back to my dark man. <laughs> this guy is awesome. I love him. I fell in love with the with this player totally, man. This is so cool. I want him always in my team. Dark man, can you please be part of my team forever? Okay. Oh no! Oh, how dare you kill my dark man! Oh, now I'm blinded. Oh, man, this is so annoying. The blinding bullcrap. See, they even kill me through the uh, through my abilities and everything. Because they do so much damage with their Titan weapons. Um, but yeah, so I fell in love. I have a new... 
Oh no, Dark Man, Dark Man. Oh, he's gone now. No. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> Super Burger also writes no. Oh man, uh, Mender never dies. Yeah, the Mender is so tough to kill. Eventually he did go down, but it was awesome. It was such an insane level of support. A membership for 22 months, the Platinum membership. Dominic, you are the man. I'm just here for the free donuts, he says. Dominic, thank you so much again. You're, it's unbelievable how much the time, how fast time passes, dude. 22 months. It feels like, I don't know, yesterday when I started the whole membership feature. Which also reminds me I should do another co-op stream sometime soon, which I think we're gonna do. Um, uh, yeah, so Dominic, get yourself ready if you want to. Thank you so much for your support again. And greetings all the way back to Maine in the US. Uh, I hope you had some good lobsters this week. <laughs> uh, I still have... It's right here. See what this is? I still have it. I'm using it. This is where my, where my, where my drinking uh, goes on to. Uh, oh, the green screen ruins. Why is... Wait a minute. Why does it look so weird? Here, it says main on it. It's a... It's a... It's a present I got from Dominic, our moderator. And our long-term... Long-years friend. Um, who sent me this along with a couple of stickers. Also on the fridge, we have a, a magnet or, or on the thing where... With, um, with a main sticker and a lobster. I have it everywhere. Your stuff is slaying all over the place. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you so much, Dominic. I caught a hacker on the live server. Where I can, where can I send it in? Well, you know, some YouTubers have an email address where you can send it to, but it doesn't mean we're we, we're going to be able to use this um, or make use of it. But technically, that's possible. However, you can report in game, and if everybody does it, sh should te te theoretically it should work. But I've heard so many uh, dreadful stories about some top end players who somehow don't get banned. Mm. And that, I don't know, I, it, it, it scares me a little bit. Here we have a Raker. Shield breaking. Oh, actually, wait a minute. There's no shield breaker going to happen here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody triggered... Am I crazy or did everyone just trigger stealth? I feel like every single enemy I attacked triggered a stealth ability. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Shield breaking him. For four more seconds. Ba, 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 and ba, ba, ba. Nice. He's going to drop me to last stand, I'm, sh I'm sure. And again, we don't have survivability. So, uh, we're gonna take this damage. I'm gonna start to fly up now. Activating Shield Breaker now. Wait a minute, the Shield Breaker wasn't ready yet. Oh. That's stupid. I was trying to activate the Shield Breaker. <laughs> Whoops. That was uh, not working. Alright, let's go into this. Uh, oh wait, it's a clan, or at least these two guys are, from the, the, Besh, Besh, Besh clan or so, I don't know how to, this, this B and I at the end changes how you pronounce the previous letter, it drives me nuts, because so I'm trying to learn uh, Russian and it's, this, this, this little B, I little looking thing changes how you pronounce the last, uh, the S in front of it, so can we drop him? I mean, how many Capris are boosting this guy, man? Dude, seriously, how many Capris are boosting him? Dude, did you see that? That guy that guy was like five titans. Unbelievable. We already lost a weapon, but that's nothing new. It's team deathmatch, so... Um, how many people are from this clan? It's I only see two names, but... So, hello. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, of course, it's impossible to hit this guy because, uh, you know, he's a Kepri. And as a Kepri, he can move, he can do some crazy movement directions. And then he teleports through me, of course. I'm suppressed too for full five seconds. And then he walks back. He just walks out of it. He just goes back into safety. And there we go. All right, so... I guess we're gonna play a little more careful now uh, with this one. We have a sniper set up now. Oh, wait a minute. It's the 200 meter setup. I had the sniper setup already. Forget it. Land. 
Uh, I, I, I thought it, uh, that was my sniper setup. That was the Devastator setup. I made a mistake here. Whoops! I can't use um, this Devastator here. It's... Um, I only have 200 meters range with this weapon. I have to get incredibly close for this one to, uh, to fight. My team, however, is doing a relatively good job here. Okay. Let's see if we can drop him. And then maybe him too. Ah, nice. Shield breaker. Still shield breaking him. But I wasn't quite able to hit him all the way. Dang it, I fell. I had a really good position, but I fell, unfortunately. It's okay, we're gonna have him as soon as we fly again with the shield breaker. Okay, there it is. And then I'm gonna trigger my landing here. In what looks like no safety because homing bullets are coming in. Still got- look at the- look at how they curve! It's such nonsense, man! There's no cover in this game. There's no cover in this game. They curve around the entire freaking map. It's so ridiculous. Okay, um, airstrike on him. I'm getting perfectly hit by him. There's nothing I can do about it. I have to get out of it, out of it, out of it. I am now out of 500 meters range, but I lost a weapon. Still taking damage for some reason. Yep, I just lost my entire Titan. I didn't see he has these weapons. Oh, and now I have this problem. I can't move. This bug also still exists, apparently. Yep. The bug still exists. How is it possible that this bug exists for so long, and how is it not getting fixed? I don't know. Yep, he can just hit me because uh, he has a weapon that requires no line of sight. My weapon requires line of sight, and... Wow, I drop a new robot and I get an instant airstrike to the face. So let's try and win this fight, although of course we all know it's already lost, there's no winning against anyone. Okay. Again, I don't know how a buck can, uh, like this, where you land and you cannot move with the movements. How many ha pa patches ha did we have? Um, and uh, it's still in the game. It boggles my mind how something like this can be in the game for such a long time. It absolutely boggles my mind. It makes no sense. Should be fixed two days after it has been discovered. Easy finish. No fix. Nothing. No. Instead, we have this problem for so long now. Okay? I'm even timed blackout. Okay. I wanted to uh, activate his ability uh, thing. Now he goes into flight. Mm. Uh, where's the... Ah, he's gone, apparently. <laughs> Constantly timed out. I'm constantly, uh, not time, but what is it uh, here? Um, a blackout, constantly. I have a blackout all the time on me here. Okay. So he's almost gone, but so am I. You can shoot over cover. There's a Titan coming in. I'm having another blackout on me. I don't know how long. Oh. The entire enemy team is Titans everywhere. Can't do a thing. Picking down from an airstrike now. He's stealth, so I can't support him. It's also a thing that shouldn't exist, if you ask me. If uh, if you have a teammate, you should be able to support him uh, and uh, and trigger the the Capri support, no matter if he's stealth or not. It's weird that you can't support your buddy because he enters a stealth. 
Makes no sense to me. Um, let's give these, this guy credit. He knew how to play his um, uh, his his Muro mats with these special uh, uh, weapons, and uh, he did a really good job with this. Uh, I didn't know he had these weapons. I would have played a little differently. I didn't see it. Uh, I would have tried to play more at max range. Um, yeah. So, come on, land down. Hopefully on a building. Okay. Hmm. Can't hit him. I think the, uh, ah, now I was able to hit him. Nice. Uh, the shield from the Arthur is in the way. Let's make him use his ability here. Coming out. There it is. He fell for it immediately. The next guy also comes around the corner. Both of them can't hit me with their abilities right now. They can only hit me with, uh, with their lasers, uh, with, with their rockets. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Getting the shield. For a second anyways, and then we get killed. All right. So, uh, I wanted to do it so many times now, and I've uh, messed it up so many times. I will actually go and um, equip the uh, the other quantum sensor to it, because I thought I have two quantum sensors, but I forgot to equip it. In this match, we would have really needed that extra quantum sensor. We could have really eliminated those uh, Mugumets, it's no problem. So, I think still eight, seven or eight matches in a single one, uh, one match. When, uh, when you, when you buy uh, move mats, you need to move with legs, with the mouse cursor. Uh, I, I, I did that. Uh, I did, I did just that. I moved it with the mouse cursor. That doesn't help. Um, even if you go down here and do this, it will not fix the problem. I just did that. So, what do we have here? This time I have the better move mats. Uh, the one that, um, can counter other move mats is very well. Boom, boom, boom. Wow. That was a lot of hit damage the, thir the third hit just did. I really like the DK weapon. It's a really great weapon. Because it deals so much damage. Here we have an enemy Mender boy. Probably gonna come in now. No, he does not come in. Activating shield breaker. Bop, up, bop, bop. Nice. Now we're breaking through his shields. Did a lot of damage to him, man. Unreal. But he was able to get back in safety for a moment anyways. He's almost dead, but he probably will be able to heal himself. Unless my buddy gets him killed. Nice! This one guy got him. So let's finish him before he gets the beacon. Nice. Alright, there is something that I can shield break. Okay. Here we go, shield breaker active, bop up, bop up, and bam bam. That third shot basically instantly deleted this guy. Unreal. <coughs> Sorry. Um He's gonna get a shield. There it is. So yeah, um, in this live stream, uh, this we're nearing the end of the live stream now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but I feel like I was able to tell you or show you. Uh, what I wanted to show you in regards to the to the new damage meta. If you want to deal damage, you kind of need to be able to uh, to bypass shields, uh, like we do here now. Shield breaker running, and we can do a lot of damage to this friend here with his um, with his uh, Fenrir, but only really because of the fact we can sh break his shield. Oh, someone is behind me. How did he get there? Boom, boom. Wow, one shot and this guy is almost killed. By the way, you see to the left we have maximum damage amplified. From the uh, damage module, the nuclear amplifier. Oh, wow, look how many targets we have shooting at the same time. Dude! So many targets at the same time. Unreal. Too bad I didn't have uh, the, the shield breaker ready anymore. Bam, bam. Nice. 
So Shield Breaker will be ready any second now. Okay, starting to fly and starting to break shields. Everyone in front of us is getting hit and we break through all the shields at the same time. Wow. Is this a Kepri boost again? No, I don't. I think I'm not. Am I? Oh, yeah, no, I'm getting Kepri boosted. Okay. I didn't see that first. But again, there was a bug in the game where uh, the, uh, this, this um, uh, Seraph robot got a speed boost that he wasn't supposed to have. Like, it, it was a very odd speed boost that came out of nowhere. And it, it was on the... I saw it even in Free For All happening. And that clearly means it, it can't be because of a Kepri support all the time. Boom, boom. Oof. Uh, I'm locked. That's a pretty bad spot to be locked down now. Airstrike on both of these Titans at the same time. Ah, damn it. Come on. My, <laughs> my airstrike could have at least worked. Ah, no. Alrighty, so, um... Oh, Hope told me Darkman is on the stream as Pentagon, by the way. He says they won. Um, we, wait, we won the fight? The fight with, uh, with Darkman, we won the fight. So I did win two matches, yes! Darkman, you helped me win that one extra match. Otherwise, we... No, wait, we just lost the la I won the last. So we won three matches altogether in this entire live stream. We lost, like, seven matches, and we won three. The one in the end, then one somewhere in the beginning, and then the one with Darkman where I had a disconnect, unfortunately, later. Um, and uh, I see the screenshots here, too. Very nice. Cool. Uh, the screenshots are very low quality, though. I can barely... Ah, here. Okay. So, maybe I should show this to you guys. Maybe I should show this to you guys. Let me, let me, let me see if I can show this to you. Um, if I go here in my open broadcaster software and then activate an image, this, that should work. Uh, now you should see it, right? That's the stats, that's the match with Darkman. The one where I crashed. And uh, if I make this big, you can see. Um, we still did a lot of damage, but we crashed. We couldn't play till the very end. Um, but we won the match. It was, a, it was a victory. And Darkman's support is all the way with me. Those 3.8 million damage, they helped me so much there. Uh, so yeah, awesome. Thank you so much, Darkman, again. Also, thanks for being here on stream and for uh, supporting. How, how awesome this is. Oh, actually, wait a minute. I just realized that World of Tanks is still running in the background. Whoops. Go away, World of Tanks. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, okay, so back in the in the game here. Uh, but that was the last match for tonight. We won three matches. I'm pr proud for three one matches. That was actually quite a bad um, quite a bad number, right? That was actually quite bad that we only uh, won so little ba battles. But it is random teams, right? Sometimes. You're just gonna end up in, uh, and I think more, more than half of the time we had like some pre-mates on the other side, and that winning those fights is very, very unlikely. So yeah, um, Dono, there's a Dono that I missed. Oh yeah, here Ryan e uh, Et what? Etty. Ryan Etty, is there another instant episode coming soon, Ryan? Yes, there is. In fact. I have one more video ready, and in the next instant win episode, I'm setting a new record. I do something I have never done before. Never in the history of War Robots, I believe, was this done. I think that what what I'm what you're about to see in this video, it's the next video that comes up soon. I am probably tomorrow. Not quite sure, but maybe. Um, and uh, I think what I'm doing there. I may actually be the first guy to ever do this. I, I can't say for sure, of course, but uh, it's a very special record for myself, definitely, and I think it may even be quite a record for War Robots itself. Um, but it, yeah, you'll see it tomorrow. So uh, again, uh, thank you. $20, Ryan Etty. So much appreciated for your support, my friend. Really appreciate it. And we have Jonathan Jao, Jao, uh Querali Ch Chokerilikia. That is a long name, my friend. Thanks for the dollar, and... Um, uh, and the support. Everybody else here in the stream chat, thank you for following us uh, and being with us during the live stream. Let me just open back the stream software here. Uh, there we are. Um, and yeah, hopefully you had some fun time here. And if so, you know what? Let's do the old outro. 
thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome as always. Manny signing off. Bye-bye. Until next time.